Now we move to the question 18. Please note, this is the updated topic in the exam scheme. It's from the page 631, exercise 7 to 10. It is to find the angle measures for complementary angles. Now, before we begin, a quick reminder and a humble request to all of you. Please do share my videos with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. If you're finding these videos helpful, please do hit the like button and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Now, the question seven is to find the measure of two angles, but they have given the situation to us. No diagrams, only the situation. This ray BA and BC are perpendicular. The point D lies in the interior of the angle ABC. If the measure of angle ABD is given and measure of angle DBC. Now first we need to draw two lines. Okay, They are perpendicular. So I, And you can see the B is common. So that means imagine if this is B. I can draw the ray BA. B, C. I can even draw B, A upwards and B, C to the horizontal. It's fine. And then there is a point D. So imagine I'll take a point D over here. It's in the interior inside of this. So this is the line. D. Now we can get this angles, right? A, B, D. So A, B, D is 3, R plus 5. And D, B, C is phi r minus 27 you need to find this measure this is fine because we can easily find r now because we know when we add these two angles that is a b d plus b d b c what we will get is 90 degrees because they are perpendicular so they're complementary now what is a b d they have given it to be 3 r plus phi plus 5r minus 27 is equal to 90. You can use your calculator and directly find it. I'll solve it over here. 3 plus 5 is 8r minus 27 plus 5 is negative 22 equals 90. Take 22 to the other side. It will be 8r equals 90 plus 22. That will be 112. Now divide this over here, R will be 80, it will be 14 here. So R is 14. Now you can easily find all these angles, right? So measure of angle ABD would be ABD is 3R plus 5. That is 3 times 14 plus 5. And you can just multiply this. It will be 14, 28, 42 plus 5. It's 47 degrees. Now, if you know one is 47, then the other one can be easily found out by subtraction. 90 minus 47. Or you can do this over here. We know DBC is equal to 5R minus 27 degrees. So, 5 times 14 minus 27 so 140 is half is 70 minus 27. Here we have 50 minus 7 is 43 degrees. And yes, 90 minus 47 is also 43 degrees. So this is how we solve this particular problem. So make a rough diagram, then understand what is given and then solve it up. So R is 14, then we got 47 and 43. That is the answers. We can look at this problem as well because over here they have told intersecting at a point V. So now we have a line WX and then YZ. And they intersect at a point V and they have given the measure of the angles. So let's just draw two random lines. I'm drawing it uh, perpendicular. Why? Because they have clearly mentioned over here they are perpendicular. W, WX. Imagine this is WX and this is YZ. They're perpendicular. Okay. And now then the point V is where they intersect. This is the point where they are intersecting V. Now measure of W, V and Y over here. This measure is given. It's 90 degree. We know that. But they have given that to be 4A plus 58. And measure of 
x v y this measure is given to be 2b minus 18 so find the value of a and b such that these both are perpendicular to each other now don't go to add them all up and make it equal to 180 because there are two different variables now what you need to do is the measure of w v y is equal to 90 degrees so i know 4a plus 58 must be 90 degrees solve it up 4a is equal to 90 minus 58 we will have 60 sorry 32 over here 32 and over here it's 4a a is equal to 8 but they have not asked okay they have asked to find a itself uh, because obviously this is 90 i thought we have to substitute back and solve no don't do it because if you substitute back a to be 8 it'll be 90 degrees we already know that now that is done now from the other part x v y we know 2b minus 18 must be equal to 90 and now solve it it'll be 2b equals 90 plus 18 that is 90 plus 18 is 108 and it's 2b so it'll be 54 here equals b so the answer for a is 8 and b is 54 that's the answers so very straightforward but it's better to draw this figure and then solve it up and um, we have a figure in this problem refer to the figure at the right if the measure of angle 2 is given as a plus 15 okay let's just draw it, write it out over here a plus 15 what about this measure of angle c they have given it as a plus 35 and we need to find the measure of a such that h l is perpendicular to h j they have already given it's 90 degrees so that's enough we know this is 90 degree when you add this up it must be 90 so it is just a plus 15 you should write the angle say j h k plus k h l is equal to 90 degree now what i mean is oh just measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 equals 90 degrees and then substitute it plus a plus 35 equals 90 now solve it up it will be 2a now 15 plus uh, 35 is 50 equals 90 solve uh, take 50 to the other side it will be 2a equals 90 minus 50 2a equals 40 and a is equal to 20 that's it so a value is found out and we have we have not been asked to solve for measure of angle 2 or 3 so this is it a is done but if they are asked find the measure of angle a then you need to substitute this back over here so then what would have happened a plus 15 that is equal to 20 plus 15 that is 35 and same thing over here but they have not asked this part so i'm not going to write this they have just asked you the value of a and we have found it out that's the answer a is 20 figure is given it's very easy and now this one is just like the first uh, problem they have told these both are perpendicular and a point is lying in the interior so here they have uh, given you what's adb and bdc i'll just draw the figure if you're getting confused so da and dc so if i have this as d i'll take this as a and this as c it must be perpendicular it must be exactly 90 degrees anyways both the lines are crooked but that's 90 degree and there's a point b lying in between so imagine this is the point it's not accurate it's just a random point and now over here we know a d b is 3 a plus 10 and b d c is 13 a so when you add these two points what do you get you get 90 degrees so it's 3a plus 10 plus 13a equals 90 you solve for a a is 5 and then they have asked you to solve for the measure of adb and bdc so substitute a back over here in adb and bdc and you will then get the answer so that's the measures 25 and 65 
and there you go this is the answer please note this is the figure a rough sketch please draw a rough sketch and then you can get the answers easily that's the end of this topic i hope you found it helpful if you have any doubts please post them in the comments and i will see you in the next video